थैंक्स फॉर रिमाइंडिंग मी अदिति आई शुड वी शर नाउ यूर वेलकम हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल बाय प्रोजेक्ट मेकर आई होप यू लव द डेमो वीडियो ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ पर्सनलाइज बर्थडे अलर्ट्स यूजिंग पाइथन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट As you can see, I have opened a folder called Birthday Wisher on the screen. In this folder, there are three files. First is Excel file, second is Birthday Wisher dot Python file, and third is Cake dot ICO file. So I will open this Excel file first. So I have written the names of my friends and their birthdays in this Excel file. I have written first name as Ram, and his birthday is on zero five zero nine, which means five September. Second name is Shyam. His birthday comes on 11 September, so I just written 11-09. We have to keep the same format for birthday so that uh, on specific date the notification will come on desktop screen to wish. Him. So I will close this Excel file and I will open our Python file to explain you the code of our, of this project on the screen. I will just zoom it now. Uh, Before starting this uh, program, you should install three modules called as pandas. Uh, this module will, we will be using to fetch data from our Excel file. Then the next module is date time module, which will give us current date and current time. Then next module is uh, plier module. This module is used to create notification. The last module is Python text to speech. or we can also call as pyttsx3 this module is used to convert a uh, text to speech so let's move ahead uh, these three lines are used to convert the text to speech then let's move ahead this uh, i once again created this speak function which take audio as input then engine.say to speak the text and engine dot run event to stop after speaking the text then let's move ahead then i have simply created a next stop notification one method which takes input as title and message then i have used notification method of plier package which is used to generate notification bar it has four arguments as you can see first is title so the title of that Title of the notification, then main message of the notification, then the third argument includes the app icon. I have given the part of the cake dot ico file here and the timeout. The timeout is of eight seconds, as you can see, so that the notification will be displayed on screen for eight seconds. Now let's move ahead. This is the main part of our program, so please listen it carefully. Then I have simply created a variable df. In that variable df. Using the pandas method, I have read the all the data of Excel. Using the read Excel method, I have provided the full part of our Excel so that error would not generate. Then simply in the next variable called today, I have used date time model which will return us current date in day and month format. So I will just print this today. So I will just write print and today. Now I will just uncomment the next section, and I will just run the program. So as you can see, the today date is zero three one one. It has appeared in the same format as we have stored in uh, stored the dates of our friends in Excel. So let's move ahead to explain the next part. Now I will just uncomment this section and comment this print part. So now in the next line, I have taken a for loop which in, which takes index item in da dot iter rows. This for loop will fetch the data of Excel file. In next line, I have written birthday item birthday equal to item dot birthday. This will return only the full data of birthday column. So I will just print bd to check whether it is returning the data or not. So I have written print bd. Now I will just run it and let me comment this part. So let's print bd. I will run the program to see the output. So see, it has written zero five zero nine eleven zero nine sixteen zero five. Last is zero three zero one. 
so it is it has written the entire data of column C to us as you can see this, so the first was 0509 it has written the same data 0509 and the remaining data is as it is as you can see on the screen so I will minimize this now and close this output so now let's move ahead I will comment this print part now we just have to check that if today is someone's birthday or not so I have simply written if today equal 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 to BD this line will compare the today and, and BD section means if today and BD are equal then it's someone's birthday today now we have to just fetch the name of that person from our excel file and just to create a notification so to do so i have simply written a equal to item inside square bracket name this will return us the name of that person whose birthday is today and after that i have just called notification on function which which has title as birthday alert and message as it's is birthday today this a will be replaced by the name of that person whose birthday is today that i have simply created a speak function which will speak whose birthday is today before running the program as you can see today's today's date is 3 november 2021 and i have written as fourth friends birthday is 0311 so now it should return the notification as it's shivani's birthday today so let's run the program to see the output so i will just click on run button here Adidia, it's shivani's birthday today so our program is successful it has written that it's shivani's birthday today now what will happen if there is no one's birthday today it will simply determine itself automatically so i will just change the date i will make his 0211 and just save the excel file and just minimize it now there is no one's birthday today so it shows return nothing the program should terminate automatically so let's run the program to see the output so see the program has terminated as there is no one's birthday today so you can so this was our entire code and you can add this add your friends birthday to make a custom notification of your choice So this was our entire program, hope you liked this video, thanks for watching this video.